please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for more notifications. Hi everyone, today we will learn about how to connect to a Swagger in the ASP.NET for web application. So here I will create a new project .NET Core Swagger demo. So basically we are going under the website with the framework 4.6 to create and uh, I will create a web API project. So web API basically contains the all the APIs. Here we will select no authentication on OK. New project is opening. So this is a new project. Now we will check in solution explorer. In check dependencies, we have a NuGet and SDK. We have one controller folder. So under the dependencies, we can add a references. So we will select the ASP.NET Core. We have to search and we have to install. So automatically references of this DLL is getting added into the dependencies. Here we can check the status is a success, finish without any error. Now inside the NuGet, we can see a swash buckle ASP netco version. Now uh, startup is the file where we have to make some changes to run the swagger. So here we will add a services dot add swagger again see we have to add swagger doc this is version v1 new info We will add a references. We will give a title My API. Version V1. This is basically title here as a version. Here we have to add new swagger. Basically, in configuration, we have to uh, ask the system to use a swagger. We are also using the swagger for our accessing our API. So, basically, we have to specify here now app dot use swagger UI. We will also use the interface of a swagger. Here we have to specify. C dot swagger and pool and point sorry swagger and point. Swagger version one swagger dot json my API version one so now 
we will run the project. It will take some time. So we have a controller here. We have a get method which returns two value of the string array in the string array. So default it is it has called slash API slash values. Here we can see two values which is written by the get method. Now same we can achieve using the swagger. So we can see my API version one which we have specified earlier in startup. Okay. Now we will see how the JSON of Swagger is written. So if you specify that JSON, it will return JSON format data about the JSON. Now same we can access the API using the Swagger method. So we will got try it out. We will execute a method. So we execute API. See, you can see the URL which we were accessing earlier. Same is written by the Swagger. So Swagger is basically helping us to find out more information about the our request and the response. It also returns the header information in one page only. That is why Swagger is very powerful tool for using the API. So now we can check. I have downloaded that JSON. We can also download the JSON. And also give the description of our API. So it becomes easy for a user. See, you can see the API. If we give the description, it gives a more sense to the API. Thank you for watching.